So somebody asked me which is the most important shrine in astrology? Triangle. Which one? Is it the Dharma Trikon 159? Is it the Artha Trikon 2610? Or is it the Kama Trikon 3711? Or maybe it's the Moksha Trikon, right? Because everything ends in Moksha ultimately. <laughs> well, actually none of these. Why? Oh, but then there are only th four trikonas, right? Four into three is twelve. So there are twelve houses. So how can there be another trikona? Well, there is actually. It's not a trikona, but it's like a triangle. What is that? It is the sun, the moon, and the ascendant lord. All the three. Very, very, very important. Why? Because they they tell us different facets of our personality, fascinating facets of our personality. So, first we have the sun. Sun is very important. Sun tells, sun is basically the Atma, as you know, right? Now, Atma, the word Atma refers to the English word self. Okay, Not literally, but you can understand, like, you know, it's very dif dif difficult to translate uh, certain things from the Vedic tradition into English. So, for example, there's another word like uh, avatar, right? There's no translation for the word avatar in English. Uh, one of the words which you could use is uh, descend, right? But generally, they use the word reincarnation, right? Now, but reincarnation... What word is not a translation for the word avatar because reincarnation means re into karna. Karna means flesh, right? So the sun is the significator of the self. Now, what does it mean, the self, right? The sun refers to whatever we think of ourselves or whoever we think we are, right? That's what the sun represents actually. So <clears throat> if we identify with a particular profession, so you say, oh, I am a software engineer, I am a financial advisor, I am a real estate agent, I am a stock market investor, I am a mathematics teacher, I am a cricketer, I am a footballer, right? Or I am a scientist at ISRO or NASA. So whatever you identify yourself with, that is the sun basically. So, the word Atma can also refer to mundane things, okay. But the Atma at the highest level, it refers to the soul, the uh, Chitta basically, right. And generally, they use the word Atma and Chitta interchangeably, right. But what is interesting here is that the sun shows who we are inherently as a person. But it doesn't tell us about how we feel about the existence, which is the other planet. That tells us about how we feel about our existence. Yes, you're right. That's the moon. So the moon tells us, okay, we are somebody. We are something or somebody. But how do we feel about it? Are we happy or are we sad or are we okay with it or are we very miserable? very unhappy right so what is it actually well um, that's what the moon uh, actually tells us so as i've said many times in my videos the sun represents our kingdom right so everybody has a kingdom everybody is a controller to some extent right now of course we are all very small controllers right so somebody can be a billionaire or a trillionaire but will Will that person be a trillionaire for eternity? Well, not really, right? Will somebody be a billionaire for the next 100 years? Maybe. <laughs> but certainly not 200 years, right? What to speak of eternity, right? So, therefore, how we feel about ourselves, so how we feel about the kingdom that we have, that is actually represented by the moon. So the moon tells us, do we like our kingdom? Do we like the life that we have 
that's what the moon represents so if we do not like the life that we have and that is why the moon is the most important planet in uh, in vedic astrology because the moon actually tells us is life worth living or or is it not now it doesn't mean that if moon is badly placed everybody will get suicidal tendencies it doesn't mean that or it doesn't mean that they will not feel that life is not worth uh, they will feel that you know life is not worth living for it doesn't mean that but what we can understand is that if moon is challenged in the horoscope afflicted by malefics conjunct by malefics and adding to that if the fourth house is also very badly spoiled then we can understand that the person has uh, significant uh, discrepancies significant uh, unhappiness is there in the person's life okay of course the fourth lord also is important if the fourth lord is in own sign then this can really help when the fourth lord is involved in a raj yoga if moon is involved in a raj yoga then also it can help right help doesn't mean it will mitigate uh, negativity but it will try to uh, you will try to do other things in life through which you can gradually come out of it you know by doing spiritual practices of course so that's what is the moon essentially the moon is receiving the light from the sun right so the sun is giving so it's like we have something right i have this laptop this microphone then what not you know some mobile phone or whatever this table chair but then how do i feel about it do i like it or am i happy or am i cursing myself for this that's the moon now there's another triangle uh, another uh, player in this triangle that's the lagna lord the ascended lord what is the lagna lord who is the lagna lord the lagna lord this is lagna lord is you <laughs> it's me myself right but who is it like when you say no lagna lord is me uh, like is it me or a part of me <laughs> well actually every planet represents a part of us actually so therefore the lagna lord does not show the personality as such in general but it shows the things that we focus on the things that we value in life the things that are very important for us the things that we don't want to take for granted right the things that we are ready to pay a price for that's what is the lagna lord so imagine you have a vision which is the sun and you really want to make it happen which comes from the moon and you are also working towards it which is from the lagna lord so <clears throat> then there is actual success so if there is animosity between the sun moon and the lagna lord now what does it mean animosity so does it mean if your lagna lord is saturn which means you know you are either capricorn or aquarius lagna lord because sun and moon and saturn you know sun and moon are on one side and saturn they are rivals right does it mean that all Uh, sun or uh, all capricorn and aquarius and also venusian lagnas you know they they will be in trouble always no not necessarily what does it mean when i say that they they any they're having animosity with each other it means that they are going on different directions sun and moon are friends but they can also go in different directions right <clears throat> so imagine a person who uh, has a very powerful sun but a very terrible moon what a miserable life it is because it's like you have a very big kingdom you have everything that you want and all people are praising you they're like putting you in the pedestal but the problem is your moon is very badly placed so you don't feel good about it you are not happy about it you feel miserable so that's even more miserable than a average sun and a bad moon right now we have the lagna lord so the lagna lord is very important because 
the lagna lord can also be an enemy to the sun or the moon not natural enemies again but suppose a person has a very powerful sun uh, but the lagna lord is not agreeing to that which means maybe for example sun is in a very powerful position like 10th house or and along with that the lagna lord is in debility now what does this mean does does this mean that the person will be successful uh, but uh, not wanting to put efforts does it mean that well not necessarily it can mean that it can mean a lazy ambitious person a person with a very strong sun and a very and a terrible lagna lord can mean a person is very 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 lazy but super ambitious you know i want to become a billionaire right but i have no desire to work for it <laughs> right because that's what uh, that is something which i don't want to focus on right that's what comes from the lagna lord which is not well placed right but the sun is very big you know the ego is very big it's inflated it's bloated it's blown off blown out of proportion right so lazy uh, ambitious is that category and now uh, take the other way around you know if the lagna lord is very strong but sun is not well placed that can give rise to frustration in life because then there is not much visible success in life okay there are efforts but there is no success right so the, there is somehow animosity so or, or it can be sometimes you know that there are contradictory energies so for example mm, the sun is pushing a person towards politics for example or towards government civil services and suppose the moon is in the fifth house pushing the person towards creativity now fifth house can also mean power sometimes but generally represents creativity so then what's happening i mean politics and creativity i mean you you can be hyper optimistic and you can say you know oh, actually you know you can be creative and be a politician now nothing wrong in being creative or there's nothing wrong in being a politician but is that creativity of the moon is it actually helping the person's political ambitions and gains uh, may not be in a generic sense right um, it will depend on specific scenarios but here also the sun and moon are enemies because one is saying you know just be yourself you know creativity just have fun just learn be creative you know just uh, be enthusiastic and on the other side there is the sun which says you know oh i want you to get power and dominate others and make rules for everybody you know everybody got to follow what you said right so then they are enemies so similarly you got to see the lagna lord and the moon right so many times people they will lack motivation in life this is this is this is because uh, they they have ambition but they don't have motivation you know ambition can come from the sun and the lagna lord but motivation primarily comes from the lagna lord and the moon right so from the horoscope you should be able to identify what, what, what's lacking in this person actually is this person lacking contacts and uh, not getting success externally and he is putting all energies and the person also wants success which is the moon um then there's a problem with the sun then we have to see how we can deal with it you know uh, but suppose a person has big ambitions uh, but has no desire to work then it's a problem of the lagna lord as i said so then you have to see where the lagna lord is how you can strengthen the lagna lord you know by chanting vishnu avatar mantra you know? and then of course the person has big ambition the person is very focused has a lot of success great lagna lord great sun but is unhappy in life is miserable is depressed right that's like a terrible moon so a terrible moon great sun great lagna lord that's like the triangle okay unless you solve this triangle there is no use of looking at the horoscope because you will not solve certain fundamental problems certain fundamental issues which is with the person and his ambition and how he feels and 
is he ready to pay the price you know these three things this triangle if you can solve this triangle you can see how to make them harmonious right you have won it you have given a fantastic consultation but if you do not do that then <clears throat> you have just wasted your and your client's time right so therefore please try to bring harmony between these three planets very 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 crucial and of course if you are cancer or leo lagna then it becomes like uh, even more imperative because your lagna lord is either sun or moon right then it's like 10 times more important imagine you are cancer lagna the planet which is responsible for your happiness is also responsible for your focus right so then Either you are too focused or you are totally irresponsible, right? You lack focus. Extreme uh, deficiency. It's like you could have some disease also, you know, like ADHD and all this, whatever. Nonetheless, but I hope you understood what I'm trying to tell here is that if you want to change a person's life, you have to sort this triangle. Otherwise, anybody can make predictions after seeing 100 astrology videos or doing astrology courses, right? Or by seeing 100 charts, right? Everybody can do some predictions or the other at least. But you cannot help somebody without treating this triangle, all right? Thank you very much for your patience. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel down below. And if you want a consultation from me, the website will be there in the description section below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him irrespective of where your sun moon or lagna lord is thank you very much